What's going on guys? Um, today's Monday, I usually don't upload on Mondays, but it's Labor Day and I'm not doing anything so thought I would give you guys a story. So here we go as this is top three of the most embarrassing moments of my life. You ready for this? So when I was a freshman in high school, the very first iPod Touch came out and anyone who had one was automatically popular. I remember I saw the Sin Jin of my school walking in the hallway with the Jessica Alba of my school. My buddy walks up to me, he's like, hmm, he must have an iPod Touch. And it's not like if you had all the new electronics, that meant that you were going to get the most pussy. Because honestly, more than half the time, girls don't give a shit about that. But the iPod Touch was such a big deal because it was so new. Like nowadays, if you walk into a place with a new iPad or iPhone, girls aren't going to give a shit. Unless you have that and a vibrating chocolate penis that ejaculates money. Regardless of the attention that it got you, I really wanted an iPod Touch because, you know, my birthday wasn't even close. Christmas was like four months away, so I was pretty much shit out of luck. But one day, out of nowhere, my friend's like, Hey, I don't really want this iPod Touch. You can have it for a hundred bucks. Which was totally a steal at the time. So I was like, fuck yes. But I don't get paid until next week. So I'll pay you later. I didn't have a job. I don't even know how he fell for that. I'm sitting there like, oh my god. He just fell for that. When's the last time I mentioned having a job? But he gave me the iPod right there. And little does he know... I have approximately zero <laughs> wait wait I think I might have owed someone else money at the time I knew that when I took the iPod touch I'd only have it for that week before he figured out that I was never gonna pay him so I took the iPod home that night and discovered that it had internet capabilities so you already know what I did anyway I'm in my fourth period class the next day and Emily pretty much one of the hottest girls in the school comes up behind me and she's just leaning over my shoulder being nosy she's like hey Jordan is that the new iPod Touch? Uh, you know my name? I mean, yeah, do you want to see it? She snatched that shit out of my hands like I owed it to her or something. She sat down next to me and played it for a while, and I was just sitting there like, this thing is magical. I'm so going to get laid. This girl has never talked to me until now. I remember getting up, and I was going to throw something away, and then I heard her scream, Ew, Jordan, oh my god. Everyone and their mother was like, what happened? I turned around and this kid that wasn't even in our class was peeking his head through the door to see what was going on. At this point, my heart was beating out of my chest because it occurred to me that I never closed that internet tab from last night. It's like time froze and I had time to think of all the shitty possible outcomes of this situation. What if she told everyone what she just saw? What if the teacher found out? I could get suspended. Worst case scenario, I'll have to move away and change my name. Emily said the most unexpected, most genius thing anyone could have said in that situation. She's like, uh, Jordan put his gum under my desk and I accidentally felt it and it was disgusting. The teacher's like, that's it, Jordan. If I see you with gum in this classroom again, that's a one hour detention. Night. I had a history with gum. I go up to her and I'm like, Emily, I am so sorry you had to see that and thank you for not saying anything. You saved me. She's like, oh, it's okay. I've seen much worse. I have two older brothers. She gave me the iPod back and we never really talked too much after that. So it's pretty much safe to say that I fucked that up. As for the iPod, a week goes by and my friend figured out that I didn't have a job and I was never going to pay him. So he came to my house demanding for his iPod back. And at this point, I was so attached to it, I couldn't let it go. So I pretty much avoided him. I had my mom answer the door and she was like, oh, Jordan's not here right now. Blah, 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 blah. I, was, I couldn't even believe my mom did that. So then he comes back another time, right? This is the second time. And he came back to my house twice as pissed off. I wasn't home when he came over to my house the second time, but my mom ended up writing him a check for the iPod. I love my mom. I got an iPod touch. <laughs>